Hi everybody, it's me, Greg Manorino. How are you today? All right, my friends, today um, I want to more or less expand on the video that I had done yesterday. Um, I believe I touched on some very important things. Um, but I want to, again, I explore some of these concepts a, a little deeper. And, and I'd like to hear some of your feedback about it. Again, I do try to read the comments here. Uh, it's difficult for me to respond to these things. So here we go. Yesterday's video, I had laid out a scenario um, how the United States economy was going to be attacked um, by our enemies, if you want to call them that. Uh, and I group into our enemies, honestly, at this point, is obviously these Middle Eastern countries, uh, Iran, Syria, and also Russia and China. I went over how they are playing the system at this time. And it's very profound. Let's go over a few other things that we know for facts. Um, we've been seeing increasing uh, cyber attacks uh, here in the United States. This is no secret. Major websites, major companies have been hacked um, as of late. And they've been traced right back to China. What do we do about it? What does President Obama do about it? Nothing absolutely zero because he's powerless to do anything. Again, China is still our biggest creditor other than the Federal Reserve, which has become the lender of last resort. We know this. So this thing recently with the NASDAQ, um, <laughs> was this a, 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 a hacking uh, attempt or, or, or successful attack by a hacker? We'll never know the truth. Could you imagine? Um, the second largest exchange, um, if it were hacked, what that would do to confidence, they will we'll never find out the truth. Personally, I believe it was hacked. So what do we know? Again, um, increasing amounts of hacking uh, by China, uh, other nations as well, no secret, even Russia, we know this. Again, no secret. You can easily research these things. These are facts. Um, we're getting hacking as well from the Middle Eastern countries, and this has been accelerating over the past several months. Why? They're setting this up, everyone. This, this thing that we are about to undertake um, is probably going to go down in history, in my opinion, as one of the biggest blunders, military blunders, um, in the history of the United States. Let's step back again and look at this big picture. Why now? Why would Assad, if this is really the truth, uh, you know, decide to gas his people now? Why, with all these cyber attacks coming to a head now, why China, um, Russia are acquiring gold in mass? Why this thing right now? Why are they dumping uh, the, their dollar reserves? Why are they dumping treasuries faster than the Federal Reserve can print cash out of thin air and buy them? Again, this is a build-up. We're already at war with these, these entities. There's no doubt about it. It's just that we're not seeing bombs fall yet, and that's the next step. So what's really going on here, people, uh, and I, I would imagine if you're a follower of this blog, you already know this. We're being baited. We are being baited into this. Uh, and again, this is all an attempt to collapse the economy of the United States. This is our Achilles heel. This is where we are the most, by far, vulnerable. None of these other countries, even collectively, I believe, would, would take on the United States military head on. I don't believe that's going to happen. But, but with regard to cyber attacks, with regard to what they're going to play out here in the Middle East, again, they're welcoming this attack. They want this attack by the United States because this has been something that's been set in motion for a long time. They're going to kill the U.S. economy by, by, by choking it off, essentially, causing crude oil to, to rise again. Uh, to heights I think people aren't going to believe. This is how I think it's going to play out initially. Um, when the attack happens, it is going to happen. Uh, we are going to see a spike in crude oil. Um, I also believe we're going to see a spike in gold and silver at that point. Um, now if you're a trader, 
that might be the point where you want to sell these things. It, I think what's playing out, uh, and I'm going to go over that a little bit down the line. Just let me let me uh, go on a little bit here. So again, we're going to have this spike here initially, um, and then. Because they're trying to convince us here, the mainstream media right now is trying to do something. They're trying to convince us that that Assad is going to lay down, play dead. He's going to get hit here for uh, for a matter of hours. They're not even seeing days, and this is going to end. Really, is that what they actually believe? We have generals that have been coming out publicly saying. We are. We have no idea where this is going to go. There are so many variables here, and. Again, my take on it is they want this attack. There's going to be some type of a retaliatory strike somewhere. Um, this is going to spread. Uh, they're going to force the price of commodities much, much higher, something that the American people cannot tolerate. Our economy cannot tolerate this. And it's going to do a lot of other things, too. Understand, we now in the United States are in the midst of the largest financial economic bubble in the history of humanity. I've gone over this many, many times. The debt bubble here in the United States. Now, I'm not just talking about the sovereign debt, which is knocking on the $17 trillion, though. We have to talk about the unfunded liabilities as well. Probably close to $200 trillion. It's, it, 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 it's staggering, this bubble. Now... An attack on the United States economy will force this bubble to burst. And I've gone over the dangers of this at length so many times in videos, in interviews. Uh, I write about it in my book, The Politics of Money. This is what they're doing. Again, an attack here on a grand scale re regarding on the U.S. economy is coming. It's been planned. We are being baited into this. Obama is either extremely dumb um, or he's doing this on purpose. Uh, understand, is it about saving face? Look, I understand that there is a terrible humanitarian crisis. This humanitarian crisis is going on all over the world. Uh, uh, starvation, it's, it's everywhere. And, you know, because of this heinous attack, yes, it is a heinous attack, using a chemical weapon, um, you know, now we have to do something. After we watch 100,000 of these people be exterminated, now we do this. Again, Obama uh, really brought this upon us all uh, by drawing his red lines and not keeping his mouth shut. So now, to save face, he's going to literally um, foster a um, a fast track, like I said yesterday in my video, a fast track to an economic collapse here in America. Our economy cannot withstand what is coming here. Again, expect more cyber attacks. Expect commodity prices to rise. Assad, Iran, Russia, they're not going to lay down and do nothing here. Um, something is going to come out of this, and I, I can't imagine in my wildest dreams that um, they aren't aware of this. So really, is there something else going on here? Um, is, is this is this the the push that they're trying to do to literally melt America? I mean, what's really going on here? People, <laughs> this is so sad. It, it really, really is. You know, we've watched the way of life here for, for us here in America change so dramatically. Status post the terrorist attacks of 9-11. We've watched our civil liberties be taken away. We're under surveillance now. Um, we're being we're being watched at every every angle through 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 your computer. I am certain I'm on some kind of a watch list. Um, there are our phone conversations, everything. It's more and more keeps coming out here. We have a uh, financial system that is completely rigged, and not only is it rigged. Understand, people, the crash, the last crash that we had was engineered. Um, it's the Federal Reserve is a serial bubble blower. They, they do this on purpose over and over again. So, so the institutional investors, the wealthiest people, can make cash on both sides of that trade. Um, and whether this is, this is being pushed forward with purpose now, um, a new way of life is just around the corner here for the United States, um, for the American people. And... Um, I cannot imagine in my wildest dream a scenario where this is not going to accelerate over there. 
Um, you know, people, I don't just pull this out of a hat here. I study military tactics as a hobby. I happen to love it. I've read dozens of books about this. I was in the United States Navy Reserve. I was an officer. I was a lieutenant in the United States uh, Naval Reserve uh, uh, for eight years. I got to know people in there. I still have people that I talk to, uh, military people. <laughs> And they're all saying the same thing. Everyone knows this. This is not going to end well. Um, this is not the way to settle a problem unless they want to push it forward here. So again, I wanted to outline some more of these concepts here for you so you can understand um, how this is going to play out. We are now, the United States right now is more vulnerable than it's ever been, despite probably having the military being as strong as it's ever been. We're not going to have conventional warfare anymore, people. This is not conventional warfare. And let me say this as well. These people over there, um, um, the Middle Eastern people, Russia, China, these are not stupid people. Um, th this has been well calculated and well thought out, and the timing of it right now is absolutely perfect. They're going to attack our economy at every level. They're going to increase their cyber attacks. We are going to see commodity prices rise exponentially. It's going to choke the consumer here and the, the, the citizen here in America and um, you can expect the stock market to not like this at all. You know, I get a lot of questions and a lot of comments about things um, regarding trading, obviously, and investing and stuff. And I want to go over that just a little bit here. Um, with regard to TradersChoice.net, uh, if you're a trader, you've been using that site. Um, I did uh, sell CVX and ExxonMobil today with incredible gains. Uh, CVX, I pulled out an almost 40% gain on that. Um, Exxon Mobil, about 29% on that trade. I literally doubled down on UCO. Now, I never double down into weakness here, and I've gotten a lot of questions about that. If, if, I have, if I'm holding an equity and it's going down, I don't look to average into that. Absolutely not, but I will buy into strength here. I think without a doubt a strike is coming in Syria. There's going to be a spike in crude oil, a spike in gold, a spike in silver. Now, this is how I'm going to play this, people. Uh, I usually don't reveal any of this stuff here, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Soon as these bombs start to fall, um, I may consider selling all of my positions there again into that spike or I might sell half of them. I'm not really sure how I'm going to play this, um, but I am going to look to pull some profit at that point. And again, that's just what I'm going to do here. I do not, do not suggest exit positions regarding any of the equities that I place on TradersChoice.net. That's up to you. Okay, you should be a sophisticated investor. You should know what you're doing if you're using that site in any way, shape, or form. Uh, exit positions are, are, are based on a lot of, of things, and, and one of them is your risk tolerance, okay? And basically how much capital you have to allocate and what you're expecting to get out of it. Me, personally, I'm looking for fractional gains. That's it. So you play that how you want to. Now, with regard to people that have a 401k plan or, 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 or something like that where you, you don't have access to those funds and possibly are concerned about a, a, a market drop here, again, we're in uncharted territory. My October date here... Uh, the, uh, of a crash could happen at any moment. Now, if you're afraid of that, you might want to talk to your uh, investment advisor about how you can allocate your funds from your 401k into, into something different. As a suggestion, maybe you want to look into Treasury Inflation Protected Securities, TIPS, T-I-P-S, uh, as a way to protect some of your capital. Um, again, just suggestions. Don't do anything without either thinking it out, talking to a financial advisor about it, um, and, and we'll see how this goes. Anyway, people, this is getting very wordy. Again, I think this is very important in this video. I think I've covered a lot of important things. Uh, please, if you agree with me, share this video. Share it with everyone you can. Hit the like button. Save it to your computer. If they take this video down or they delete it, you know, spread it around to people. From now on further, any video that I do, I am giving all of you express permission to share it with whoever you want on any platform that you want to do it. Let's just get the word out there. That's all I'm concerned about. It's just so important to understand. I don't want people to get melted like they did last time. 
Um, again, that was a, that was a total setup. This is a total setup, and but this one. This one is a miscalculation of epic proportions on the part of the Obama administration at this point. Um, it's not going to be pretty people. Also, you know, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this blog. I do this business days, and, and um, I, I really am trying to make it work for all of us. Anyway, people, that's it. I will see you all tomorrow. We're going to see how this plays out. Um, have a great day, everyone.